Welcome to our video on building a supportive environment in an EMI course. An important area for teaching EMI courses is how students feel as they learn. We want our students to be motivated and engaged, but we don't want them to be too stressed out as they learn your content in English. We can help our students by building a classroom environment that is open and supports students and gives them the confidence to try harder than ever. So how can we build this supportive classroom environment for our students in our EMI course? Take a minute to think about this from your own teaching. Pause the video and put down at least three things you can think of in order to try to help your students feel less stressed in studying in your class. Then press play again when you're ready and you can compare your list with mine. Okay, we already know that we have to help students build confidence and in speaking and participating in English in our course. So let's look at some specifics. Here are two strategies to help students build confidence in your EMI course. The first is to build a supportive environment that encourages and rewards participation. This means that students don't feel bad about making mistakes. If they make a minor mistake with vocabulary or grammar, we ignore it. If they make a mistake that means we can't understand what they're trying to say, we ask them to repeat their comment in a way that is encouraging. We seek to understand their point. Usually, we can understand them. We can then rephrase their comment so that everyone understands the point that they are trying to make, and we move on. Remember, our goal is to help students feel confident in learning the material and in sharing the material in English. The second strategy to build students' confidence is to make sure students know you don't expect perfect English. This means that you don't correct every mistake that they make with English. Instead, focus on the main idea of what they're communicating. Can you understand their overall idea? Are there mistakes, just little grammar or vocabulary ones that don't affect understanding? If you think a student has made a mistake, that affects comprehension of meaning, then you can write that down and either talk to the student after class or make a brief mini lecture for a future class. If you think it's an area that all students struggle with, that's a good option. Having a supportive environment also means that you reward students for speaking in English, whether their English is perfect or not. Focus on how understandable their points are, not how perfect their grammar is. Try giving students points or other types of rewards for participating in English during a discussion. When students are stuck, give them the words they need. Don't make them feel bad. You can also coach them on how to study in English. For example, you can suggest different websites they can study or videos to watch. But you also have to remember that your students are working very hard and are very tired. They won't be able to take on a lot of extra work. Let's review five other general strategies for teaching your content in English and building that supportive environment. First of all, tie all the English language development to your content. Second, practice explaining concepts in English so that you can explain them accurately and clearly during class time. Third, during lectures, repeat key words and ideas, and when possible, write them on the board or show the words on a screen. Fourth, communicate the same ideas in different ways and on different levels. And finally, fifth, try to video or audio record yourself so that students can listen to your lecture later. You can upload the file to a site they can access, such as YouTube or Google Drive, and post a link in your course management system or send it to them by email. That wraps up this video on how to build a supportive environment for students. This area is important as you work with students who are learning content in a language that is not their original native language. Thanks.